31, Kings Highway. It goes from between Hearst, Ontario and White Rock, Ontario. I believe it's White Rock. A little bit of a shortcut through the wilderness. There's absolutely nothing out here. We went through one town and that was it. Absolutely nothing for about an hour and a half to two hours. That's the beauty of Northern Ontario. No people. Isn't it wonderful? I'm on my way down to Sault Ste. Marie. They're expecting me there. I have two items to drop off with them there in my trailer. Then we head over to Sudbury, Ontario. I'm hoping to get there today yet, but once again, it's looking like they're going to be closed by the time I get there. This route I'm on is very inconvenient for times because everybody shuts down at like 5 o'clock and they're just perfectly spaced apart that I can't get to more than two per day. So I have four left after Sault Ste. Marie yet. I'm going to have to get all four of those done tomorrow. I got one in Sudbury and two around Ottawa and one about an hour or two south of Ottawa. I mean, I should be able to get them all done. It's just going to be a really busy day tomorrow. Not that today isn't busy. It's just a lot of driving through the middle of nowhere. We're getting closer down to the lake right now. We're moving south. So the rain has started. I'm hoping that by the time we get to Sault Ste. Marie, we'll be out of this rain. They always get a lot of moisture in this area because of their proximity to the Great Lake. All that water comes off the lake and then gets dropped down on land here. In wintertime, it's the same thing, except they get like four feet of snow at a time. So I'll take this over that. So it was White River, not White Rock. White Rock is a town on the border with Washington State in British Columbia. White River. We're stuck here in construction. I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're blasting up ahead or something here. So three hours of driving from Sault Ste. Marie. We're on Highway 17 now, so it's a little bit of a better highway. That's 631. The King's Highway 631. That would be a, a very interesting highway to travel on in winter. <laughs> don't know if I'd want to do that. Smells like fish out here though. You know? You're all down the window, you expect it to smell like rain, right? You smell that? It smells like fish. That's weird. Looks like they're doing some sort of blasting or something here. Not sure what it is, but they totally ruined the road here. Put like six inches of dirt on that side. I don't know what they're doing. I gotta go on the soft shoulder now to get around this guy, okay. Hopefully I don't sink in. There's gotta be a better way. <laughs> There's gotta be a better way. So I don't know, what do you guys think? What, oh, that thing stank too, wow. What do you think they're doing here? Like, why is there six inches of gravel and dirt on that lane? At least they're doing something, right? At least they're fixing the roads. At least we hope they are. I hope that's what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I don't see anything fixed yet, but I'm hoping once everything's done, it'll be fixed. You gotta make it worse before you make it better though, right? That's, that's the way it goes. Can't just snap your fingers and have a smooth highway. Oh, what's this going on now? Now we gotta go onto the gravel? Okay, now we gotta go onto the gravel. Okay. So this is our main highway from Western Canada to Eastern Canada. This is our interstate. I know, isn't it nice? Don't act like you're not impressed. Look at this. They say they're fixing it. At least that's what everybody thinks. I don't know what's going on. 
I've never seen this in the US. Have you ever seen a US interstate, a federal highway being fixed like this? Maybe the back roads, but a federal highway? I don't know. There's gotta be a better way, right? But this is what we do. This is how they do it. That's why they have better roads than us. I don't know how long this goes on for. My hope is that once they're done, they're not gonna leave that loose gravel on the highway like they do in like Saskatchewan and stuff where my window got blown out. I'm hoping that this crew will uh, at least sweep the highway off or maybe eventually fix it with pavement. That'd be nice. Now we're stopping, okay. Absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, this is, this is what you get. You get what you pay for. When you take the lowest bid, this is what you get. finished delivering here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And we went into the Flying J there, had a shower, cleaned ourselves up. We smell better than a fresh rose. Right, Diesel? It's exactly the terms you would use, I know. And I put on my, my shirt that I don't wear all the time. Can you see it? I'm gonna stand up a bit. Joshua, the man, the myth legend. That's me. I need that like uh, CSI Miami music when I take my shades off. Wow! That didn't work at all, did it? Didn't. It was very flimmy, wasn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You guys all seen. What's his name? He's got red hair. He always takes his sunglasses off all dramatically. And the music's like, wow! That's not it. Can't think of it right now. 
How do you guys know? Horatio, that's his name. Horatio. There's been a murder. Good show. I haven't watched that in years. That was like when I was a kid. All right, well, we need this thing. We're done for today, Diesel. We just gotta drive up to Sudbury. It's about another three or so hours, three and a half hours. Park her there for the night, and that'll be the night. That'll be the day. Tomorrow's gonna be a really, really busy day. We gotta deliver in Sudbury. I gotta get this right. Okay, we deliver to Sudbury first thing in the morning. This is about 200 miles from here. Then I gotta run 60 miles over to Sturgeon Falls, just a quick hour drive, and uh, deliver something there. Then we gotta run like 270 miles to Rockland, Ontario, drop something off there. And then we got two close ones. We got another 44 miles uh, Metcalf, and then another 35 miles from there, Merricksville. So, it'll be busy, but. We'll get her done, we'll get her done. Then we'll figure out what they have for us tomorrow. I should actually let the load gods know that I'm planning on being empty tomorrow. If nothing changes. I should let them know. So we got our shower here. We got our coffee. Got some water for the weasel. Delivered, delivered our stuff. Off to Sudbury. I do a lot of multi-stop loads like this. I get paid for each drop, so it's okay with me. If you do it right and everything works out, you actually make a little bit more money like this. And one thing I like about it is that a lot of my drops are in small towns actually, so I get to explore small towns more than usual. It also means I don't have to go into the big cities as often. I gotta go around them. I'm happy about that. I think it's a pretty good gig. Oh, that's a new Petro Pass truck stop right there. Oh, they got lots of parking too. Paved parking with painted lines. Diesel, did you see that? I'm gonna go check that out next time we go through here. Paved parking with lines. How much you wanna bet no one's gonna to listen to the lines? We see those so rarely that people don't know what they mean up here. I think I was talking about that the other day. 